Hi there, this is Real Life Clean Living and I wanted to show a quick video about how to clean your dishes that will save you energy and save you water. So um, I kind of came up with this idea and I know it sounds really simple because doesn't everybody wash their dishes? But um, I wanted to create this video because I found a way that I can wash my dishes without using too much energy and without using too much water. And I'm going to show you how, so stay tuned. So the first thing you want to do, um, I have a double sink and it's going to be different if you have a single, uh, just one catch-all sink. But what I do is I will stick a bunch of dishes in here, like so. And then I will find a quick little stopper and put that into the sink. Press it down in there. Then I'll add some soap. Just kind of drip that in there. And then I will turn on the hot water and let that whole, uh, sink fill up. Fill up your sink till about only halfway full. You won't need any more than that. If your water doesn't get hot quickly, you can always take the time it takes for the water to warm up by rinsing out um, some dishes that maybe have some stuck on food. So here I have a pan uh, that we cooked some oatmeal in this morning and you can just use that time for the, uh, for the water to heat up um, by rinsing out and kind of flaking off the extra food pieces on your food on your plate or pan um, that you want. And you can just dump that out. And then when you have it pretty clean and dry or pretty clean and and washed off, for the most part, you can just stick it in there with the soap water. So the next thing you want to do is you want to just wash your dishes like you would hand wash your dishes. There's nothing to it really, just uh, wash your dishes like any other person would. <laughs> so when you're done washing and scrubbing your dish, you will place it in the clean part of the sink. Okay? And you'll just keep doing that. The point of this video is not to show you how, how to wash dishes, but how to save energy and to save water. So we'll just skip this and we'll come back in just a minute. What I like to do is I'll take utensils that I've washed already and smaller things and then place them inside a big pot or a big bowl or anything that I might be washing that I can set it on and just have it all in one place. All right, so once you have a good amount of clean dishes in the clean side of the sink, you can go ahead and rinse them off. Um, you may not be able to fit all of the dirty dishes in there, which is okay. While you're rinsing them off, take some other dishes that you need to clean and let them soak for a little bit longer. So when you go to rinse off your dishes that have already been cleaned, make sure there's no food stuck on there, you'll just use the faucet like normal. But what you're going to do is you're going to use the cold water this time in a slow trickle like that and you'll just rinse off your dishes. And the reason why you're using cold water instead of the hot water again is because when you use hot water, you're using up more energy in your home. And the reason that is, is because your hot water heater, if you have one in your home, works on energy. Whether it's uh, electricity or propane or some other way that your, your water is being heated up, you are using some sort of electricity or energy. So this is a good way to save money um, by using the cold water which uses less energy. So once you're done rinsing it off you're going to want to go ahead and put it in your dish rack over here. Oh wait there's no dish rack. Um, well shoot you should probably go out and buy one. 
right? Wrong. You already have a dish rack. Most people already have a dish rack that they can put dishes in. They just don't realize it. So we're gonna come over here and look. Oh, what is that thing? That's a big energy hob. We open this bad boy up. Does anybody know what that is? It's a dishwasher, yeah. Well, we don't use that too often in my house. This right here is a dishwasher. Washing these dishes. So, instead of buying a new dish rack and going out and spending money and spending time in the shops, I'm gonna show you how you can use your dishwasher as a dish rack. Who'd have thought, right? Pull out your top drawer, put the clean dish in there. Take another thing that you've washed and rinsed and put it in the dishwasher. Easy as that. When you're done loading up the dishwasher with clean dishes, you just let them drip dry. Close it up, close the door, Leave it a little cracked, just so there's airflow in there. And your, your dishes will drip dry just like they um, would have on a dish rack on the counter. Um, if you don't like them drip drying, you can always just place them there as a dish rack. Then take a reusable dish towel that you can wash and dry. And just dry them off. No big deal, right? So there you have it, that's my green tip for today. When you're done washing the dishes, if your water is particularly nasty with food particles and stuff, go ahead and pull the drain and let it drain out um, so don't you don't have to keep that water. But mine, since I usually wash off my uh, plates and pans and stuff um, shortly after I'm done, I don't have a lot of food particles left in the water. So what I do is I just let that water sit there. Um, it's really hot water, so um, it'll stay warm for most of the day because this is stainless steel. Um, but the reason why I leave it is because, not to be weird and nasty, but because, um, you know, we use the dishes every day and throughout the day. So instead of filling up the water every meal, after every meal, um, we just leave it there and sometimes if there's a long gap between uh, meals, let's say we uh, eat breakfast and we wash our dishes and then we're, we go out for the day and we don't come back until dinner, we usually just pull the, pull the plug and let it drain and, and let it go. So that's uh, my video for today. Thank you for watching. Um, subscribe. Tell your friends about this. I know it seems like such a simple easy little thing that everybody should know but this is a way that you can save energy and time the dishwasher when you put that on that uses at least 90 minutes for my dishwasher 90 minutes of constant washing drying sanitizing whatever and that's 90 minutes of energy that's being wasted this took only about 15 maybe 20 minutes at most to wash all my dishes and you saw my mess. I had a pretty big mess. Like this video, uh, share with your friends and subscribe for more clean living content. Um, visit my Instagram and Facebook page at Real Life Clean Living. And as always, stay real and stay clean. Thanks for watching. Hi, welcome back to Real Life Clean Living. Today I'm gonna show you how to make